Okay, we have a 2014-1500 with the concern that uh, the air conditioning, the HVAC controls, none of that works. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run through this real quick, just to let you guys see how I would diagnose this. And uh, we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is verify the concern. Does the HVAC controls work? No, oh, go here. Turn it, try to turn it on. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So then the second thing you do is you plug in, I work at Chrysler, so I plugged in our scan tool and I pulled up the topography. This shows all the modules in the system and I've got a lot of DTCs because I had a bad battery, but there, HVAC is red, which means it is not communicating, it is not on, it's not communicating, it's not on the bus. So if you go to all DTCs, you're gonna see lost communication with HVAC module, lost communication with HVAC module, all this kind of stuff. Now, if we click on the flow chart, it's gonna tell you to do a bunch of stuff that in my personal opinion, you really don't need to do. There are a few things you need to look for to see if a module is bad or not, or if it's a wiring issue. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check for power, we're gonna check for ground, and then we're gonna check our communication wires at the module itself to make sure we have bus voltages. CAN positive should be around 2.5, 2.6, and CAN negative should be 2.3, 2.4. Uh, the HVAC module on this 1500 RAM is located. I already have the glove box out. And right there, I right there. That is a connector for the HVAC module. So let me get my DVOM and we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we know that the HVAC module is not communicating on the bus because we see that it is red, which means it's not communicating. So we need to check for power, we need to check for ground, and we need to check our communication wires to make sure all of our voltage are being sent to the module. And if they're being sent to the module, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a module. So what we're gonna do, I have the car running, the truck running right now because the battery's bad and the guy doesn't want to replace the battery for whatever reason. So I'm leaving it running while I do all these tests. I am not concerned in any way, shape, or form that I'm going to ruin the car doing this, even though Chrysler may say otherwise. So you're going to disconnect this. See the connectors? This is my fuse positive, this red wire. Can you see, can it be seen? The pink wire is my uh, ignition runs wire. I need to make sure I have voltages on that wire and that wire. Um, and this white wire is my can positive and this green wire is my can negative or vice versa, I can't remember, nor does it really matter. And this black wire is my ground. So I'm going to connect to my ground wire and I'm gonna use that as my ground. And there may be people that are saying, I can't believe he's going through the front of the terminal or whatever, again, don't care. Uh, I'm not worried about ruining anything doing this a while enough to know that everything's fine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check for voltage. Uh, just leave that like that, I guess. You see the numbers? Uh, there used to be a way to light it up. Anyways, yeah, that's good. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna check our voltages for positive. That's running voltage, so that's good. So that's our positive, so I know my fuses are good, all my power going to the connector is good, everything's fine. This is my run start prior. Again, we got power, we got voltage, everything's fine. I also know my ground is fine because I'm checking voltage with the ground wire at the connector. So that ground wire is tested fine. Now we're gonna go up to those, can't show the connector. We're gonna check these. We're gonna check that white wire and we're gonna check the green wire. So here's the white wire, and here's our communic... Oh, my ground fell out, darn it. So that's my CAN negative voltage. You want 2.3, 2.4 volts. If you got that as communication voltage, then you know that's fine. So now let's check our CAN positive. 2.6, 2.7, 2.5, that's what we want. My ground came out again. There we go. I know that everything going to this module is fine, so I'm gonna put an HVAC control module in it, and let's hope that that's fixed it, okay? Thank you. We'll go back with the, when I put the module in it. Shut off. 
Recording? Okay, so I'm just showing this plugged in. I went ahead and plugged the, mo the new module in just to see that it was, to see if it would work. And there is my module. It blew now, which means it's communicating. If you come up here and look at the screen, my blower motor works. And so folks, that is literally how you test module communication. It is not hard. It is not difficult. Um, you're just checking for powers and grounds. If you go to the flow chart, Christ was going to tell you to check resistance values and all that. I don't know what took it out, but something internal to the module took the module out. Um, but by doing it the way I did, it took me all of what, what, two and a half minutes to diagnose that. And, um, and so, but a lot of people don't know how to do that, but now you do. But that is literally, as far as Chrysler vehicles are concerned, how you would diagnose a majority of the modules. Um, obviously for PCM issues and there's other things you need to check. Um, but for interior module stuff, that's literally, literally what you're looking for. You're looking for powers, grounds, and your communication voltages. And as long as those are fine, you're good to go on recommending a module uh, for the repair. So until next time, thanks for watching this Chrysler Tech video.